Caddy, and I want to do a short video today because um, I've learned a very valuable lesson, and my lesson is this. You cannot cheat health. You may want to make exceptions to your health regimen and think, oh, I can just do a little bit of this or a little bit of that, and it's not going to hurt me. And all of those little bits that you do, they add up, and then the next thing you know, you're knocked down. And that's exactly what happened to me. So let me explain. Um, I have been sick from Tuesday, really through Thursday. Um, Thursday I was actually on the mend. Friday I was okay, still low in energy, and then today I feel great. I feel amazing. Um, I had the flu. So, um, so I guess in retrospect, having it really only for like three days, two and a half days, is pretty good. Um, I've never done the flu vaccine. I don't believe in it. And, um, and it seems like most people that get the flu, it seems like they tell me they're out for a week or more. And I was only sick for a couple of days, so not so bad. But those two and a half days that I was really sick really, really, really sucked. And um, it really bothered me because I really do my best to eat a healthy diet. Now, with that said, you know, eating a, uh, a, a raw vegan diet or a mostly raw vegan diet with maybe a couple of cooked veggies now and then, um, that's a great diet. But <coughs> I'm still, I guess, a little bit recovering. Um, <coughs> but with that said, I have some guilty pleasures and many of you know my guilty pleasures because I I do some of these guilty pleasures when I'm making these videos not tonight I'm completely sober but one guilty pleasure I have is drinking cafe mochas I make them vegan um, I make them at home with almond milk and um, I use this Ghirardelli's chocolate that doesn't have any milk products in it and then um, the Starbucks that I typically go to I've actually checked with them and I buy their soy mochas, and I've asked if their mocha mix has any animal products, and they say no. So I feel like, oh, those are vegan. I can drink as many as I want. And typically, I'll make an almond milk mocha at home for myself, and then later that day, I'll have a soy mocha. That's two large mochas, which are probably, I don't know, maybe four or five, 600 calories each. If you know, tell me. Um, and... So that's like, what, 1,200 calories at most of caffeine and sugar? And I do that maybe four days a week? That's bad, okay? So that's a, that's a bad habit that I've, I have been involved in for a while now, at least since, uh, <clears throat> I would say, last July, all right? And then the other guilty habit is alcohol. I, dr I drink wine at home. Um, typically, I'll come home from work, I work a lot at night, <clears throat> teaching in the evenings, and I'll come home and have a glass or two of wine. And then when I'm hanging out with my bandmates, I like to have cocktails. And when I'm at a gig and I'm singing at a gig, I like to have several cocktails, and um, it relaxes me and I have fun, all right? Well, those guilty pleasures did me in. <clears throat> my band has been playing a lot of gigs lately, and um, it seems like almost every weekend we've been playing out. And this past weekend, I was playing a gig, and I remember the last set, I lost my voice. Like, it was maybe not the whole last set, but it was like the, towards the end of the last set. And my voice just gave out. And, um, <clears throat> and then I was like, screw it, I'm going to still sing, and I did, I tried. My throat was raw. I mean, I was screaming with a raw, inflamed pharynx and larynx. And I had been drinking, and I actually, um, I think I took a couple of Sudafed too, because I was a little congested. And that morning I had my typical two mochas, and, um, and I had been doing this over and over and over again. And then, um, and so Sunday I was okay. Monday I was okay in the morning and then Monday night I was at uh, work teaching and I remember lecturing and, and th towards the end of the lecture I was feeling really I mean actually when I got to work I had a meeting and I was feeling so tired I mean I, I could have just fallen asleep and 
I almost did fall asleep during a meeting. And then, uh, I hope none of my coworkers are watching this. Um, and, and then teaching, I was just really, really tired. And I remember as soon as lecture was over, I'm like, I need to go home. Because I don't even know if I can stay awake on the drive home. And then Tuesday morning, woke up, was feeling okay. And then all of a sudden, probably around 1 or 2, I just started getting the chills and the aches. And I took my temperature, and it was like 103.9. And that was a woo, big, big jump in, in temperature. My typical body temperature is like 96.7, 96.8. That's how low it is. And it just jumped really high. And this really freaked me out. Um, I believe that the body heals. I am a um, student of natural hygiene. And I really believe that the body knows much more than any medical doctor does. And so I decided to wait it out. Um, my temperature did come down a little bit, but it, it, then I, that whole night, Tuesday, um, it fluctuated between 102 and 103. And I was in so much intense pain. Every joint, every muscle, even my visceral organs, <clears throat> they ached. My head was like, ugh, just, I was in so much pain. And I just laid on the couch, and my, my cats were bitching for food, and my dogs were just like cuddling with me, and. I just couldn't move. And then uh, the next day, I um, got up. My temperature had come down to about 101. And I was still feeling really achy, though. And my chest was really feeling, like, sore. I had, like, tightness in my chest and in my abdomen. And uh, it was hard to breathe. <coughs> and then, um, so that was Wednesday. And then Thursday, I wake up. And by the way, both Tuesday and Wednesday, took off work. So I missed work. Thursday woke up and my temperature was actually kind of normal. <clears throat> well, I should say it was like 98, 99, which for me is kind of high because I'm normally 96. But um, definitely down. Um, had a headache still and I was coughing up all this junk and I decided to go see the doctor to make sure I didn't really have an infection. Um, I go to a holistic medical doctor and she won't prescribe medicine unless it is desperately needed. So that's why I choose to go to her. Um, she's in St. Louis. Her name is Dr. Ratoad. Let me know if you're interested in knowing about her. She's great. So um, she confirmed it was the flu and then uh, decided that Friday I was just going to take it easy and I did. Basically rested all day Friday. And then on um, today I woke up and I felt really good. And by the way, um, Tuesday and Wednesday all the way up until probably Thursday morning. Well, I think Tuesday, Tuesday morning, Tuesday at noon, I had a big salad. I had a kale salad. But from Tuesday noon till Thursday uh, noon, I did not eat anything. It was just pure water. I, so I water fasted for 48 hours. But I didn't have an appetite. I didn't want to eat. My throat hurt. Everything hurt. I couldn't eat. Um, but that was a re that's a really good healing mechanism is to is to water fast. Because when you're water fasting, you, you're not putting any burden on your body. Digestion takes a lot of energy. And you want your energy to be focused on fighting pathogens and healing tissues. So that was really a good call on my part to water fast. And I did. And then um, I was on my way to the doctor and I thought, you know, I should probably eat something. And so um, I had an apple. And then um, Thursday night, I think when I came home, I, I wanted something really easy to digest. So I did make a baked sweet potato and just ate that by itself. Um, and then I had a green juice. And then I think that uh, today, I started my day with a green juice. And then I just finished uh, dinner and it was a really big salad. And so um, I'm just trying to say no to the coffee. Thank you, Simon. <laughs> saying no to the coffee that's really what I think I need to give up is the coffee and that's where I'm going to start I'm also going to give up the cocktails I'm not sure if I'm going to give up the wine because I like the wine the red wine I think does have some health benefits I know there's going to be a lot of raw gurus out there that are going to tell me oh alcohol is always a toxin you should never drink alcohol well I think that red wine is okay and I'm going to partake in red wine, not every night like I had been. 
I think I'm going to just do it when I'm with friends and family and I want to have kind of a nice relaxed evening evening so I can have a nice discussion with the people that I care about. So that's going to be kind of the exception I'll make. Um, but other than that, I, I, I have to get rid of these, these toxic behaviors. The coffee is no good. Coffee, caffeine is a toxin. Um, and when you combine that with you know, sugar from the mocha in the almond milk. Almond milk is not that bad, but um, it, it just really, it did me in. It was contributing to adrenal fatigue. It was making me feel jittery, not helping me sleep at night. So I need to say goodbye to that. That's going to be my health choice. Um, and then the cocktails are not good either because that's just, I can't do that anymore. I can't do that to my body. I love my body too much. <clears throat> and being sick really, really scared me. Um, sometimes I think, you know, the universe gives you an illness to kick your ass and, you know, kick you back on track. And I need to get back on track. I need to get back onto what is healthy. I want to experience life. I want to feel life. I want to take in what the world has. And I want to make this planet an amazing place. And I want to spread love. I want to give love. And I'm not going to be a beacon for love if I'm going to be down and sick all the time. It's impossible for me to do that. So I have to be healthy. I'm taking the night off today. Um, I, after I went to work today, I felt I, my, my energy today is just back to normal. I feel great. I actually feel better than normal because I've, given, I've not had coffee since Tuesday morning. And today is Saturday. So I'm really proud of myself and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, <clears throat> still have some residual junk coming up, but other than that, I feel great. Um, so I'm glad I was able to work today. I'm glad I, I got back to work. I was not sure if I was going to be able to do it, but it was good being back, doing my thing. And then uh, I did actually do some shopping today, um, a little bit of clothes shopping, um, maybe for vanity's sake, but I think I lost like five pounds being sick, so that's, that's a plus, but no, I shouldn't say that's a plus. You should lose weight the healthy way. You should not lose weight being sick. But, um, you know, you're going to lose weight if you give up, you know, 600 calorie mochas that I've been drinking twice daily and all the alcohol I've been drinking. Of course, I'm going to lose weight when I give, off, give up that crap. <clears throat> so um, I just want to tell all of you people out there that if you think you can have your little exceptions, which, I mean, like I said, I'm keeping my wine with friends. As, as something okay to do. But other than that, um, I'm giving up the coffee, I'm giving up the cocktails, and I'm giving up the daily wine practice. Um, I have to be true to my body. I've got to live according to nature. And nature is not going to say, oh, it's okay if you do that every now and then. It's okay if you just do that once a day and everything else is healthy. If you want to be healthy, you have to be healthy. You have to do it. And so I'm doing it. So that's my message for today, is you can't cheat health. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have an amazing night. Bye.